and welcome back. So today we're going to start talking about uh, a little bit more about using Node on the back end. And we're going to start with NPM, Node Package Manager. Now we said when we ended um, chapter, six, chapter 6 that we will be taking a break from Angular to go work on the back end because there's some things in Angular that we need to be able to do and without do, having a back end, well, we can't really do those exciting things. So, what is NPM? It's a Node Package Manager. Now, what is a Package Manager? Well, before we talk about the Package Manager, let's make sure that oh, you have Node installed. So, I have Node installed, and we, I did that back in Chapter 5, so we can, when we start playing with JavaScript, and we talk about how JavaScript can be used either in the browser or on your desktop server. And, and we said that oh, there were certain things um, the two environments provide um, that's common to both, but then there are other things that are just special to each. So for example, JavaScript on your backend will allow you to open and create files, whereas, uh, but it wouldn't allow you to access something like a window because you don't have a window per se in your backend. But then on the browser, you can access things like a window and specific to the browser. So the two environments are slightly different, but it's still JavaScript. Now, packages. What are packages? So we're going to be using the word packages, modules, and library interchangeably especially packages and um, module. So if you don't have Node installed, you'd want to go over to nodejs.org and download it for your particular platform. And once you install that, you also get a copy of, um, you also get NPM installed alongside with Node. So you only need to install Node, you can install any one of these. It should detect your your operating system. If it doesn't, just click on one of these other links and take you to that. Follow the installation instruction or look at the video where I showed how to install Node. All right, once you have Node and NPM installed, how do you know if you have NPM installed? Type NPM and it's going to show you basic usage and the command that it supports. Now, let's talk about a package. So if you want to find node packages, this is where you'll find them at this website. And since we've played with JSON files before, I thought it would be straightforward for us to work with a JSON package. And again, a package is like a library or a module, and it's basically reusable code that someone else has written and provided for your use. And so someone um, decided to write this JSON file package and what it does is it allows you to easily read and write JSON files. And so this person taking the time to provide this for anyone else to download and use free. So when I was looking for a JSON um, pack module, I came here and I typed JSON and then file. And then this is one of the first one that came up. And I looked at it and I go, oh, this looks easy enough to use. It says how to install it. And you see that we need NPM. And it shows an example here. So let's copy this instruction for installing it. Now again, what I have in my directory, nothing much, I have this app.js and data.json, but I'm not gonna talk about those yet. Let's try and install this JSON file. When I try to do that, it gives me an error. It tells me it can file package.json file, and so it's looking for a package.json file. And so it didn't do anything in my directory. So let's create a package.json file. So I'm gonna do npm in it, and I'm going to just keep entering without and accepting all the defaults and get back to the command line. And so what it did is it told me that it wrote a file called packet.json containing this. And I can confirm that by doing cat and exactly. And if I look again in my directory, now I have three files, the app.json, app.js, data.json, and now this packet.json. And packet.json, we're going to see how this comes in handy in a minute. But basically, it describes, you can think of in this directory, I have a node application I'm working on, and some of the source code, of course, is in this app.js, and you know maybe it uses this data.json too. But this package.json tells a little bit about who wrote the application, the version, and so on. So let's try running that command again, because remember, it failed because there was no package.json. So I rerun it, and now it succeeds. The only complaint here is it's saying basically, my description field, I don't have a description field, which would help if I were to 
publish this um, onto the website so that use other users could know, you know, um, what this module is about. So now look at what has changed. It has added this to my package.json file, which basically says that my application here depends on JSON file module of this version and above me. So that doesn't seem, it might not seem why that's important, but it's pretty important because when you share your application with other users, they can know what they need to install in order to use your application. But we'll, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So let's go back here. And so now I've installed this. Now I want to try it out. And so it says, you know, a simple example for reading a file, JSON file, is to just use this node provided keyword require, which is like an import for those who know Java and other languages like it. Um, this library or this module, this package that we've installed now, and now it's available in our system. We're gonna tell notice we use the node keyword require to load it and save a reference to it, however it loads it and represents it in this JSON file variable. We can create a string to the file name of our JSON file, and then we're gonna say read it. And once you finish add this package, once you read the file, call this function that we're gonna provide with an error and an object representing the JSON data, and we'll just print it out. Now, of course, we can do things like check for errors. So is this exact piece of code that I have here in app.js? The only change I've made is instead of reading a file from the slash temp directory, I read a file from the current directory called data.json, and that data.json file is this. And as you can see, it's just a simple JSON file. Now, ignore the percent sign that you see popping up. That is my prompt, and I promise I will have that fixed at some point. Just keep putting it off. So now that we have the module installed, and or a package and we want to see if this works so let's run our json our um, application so app.js and there you go i run my application and it did just that it used the module we installed load the contents of this json file and print it out to the screen and we know that works because um you know i just ran it and show you but you know just in case you're in doubt for example if i change this to admin task one, I save the data alone, and I rerun my application, you'll see that it read that file in thing. No, I said that that um, so was pretty easy. And you can imagine that you can, you know, install a ton of different packages and modules that you do all kinds of things. And that's why we need to use NPM this because we want to be able to make it easy for us to go find whatever package we need and manage the version and so on and the dependencies between them. Because you can imagine that when we install JSON file just now, it depended probably on other module. And if, or if it did, NPM would take care of installing those also. So we don't have to like chase down all the possible dependencies. But one final thing, remember I said, so why might you need a package in your, your um, application? Well, let's remove this module directory, this node module directory. And because that was what was installed once we, we had a package file. And so now I only have these three files. These two I've shown you, I've shown you all three of them, but these two is what I started with. And you could think of those as belonging to my application. And then this package now too is required if I want to use modules. And so if my colleague were, was to want to work on this application with me or use it or test it, all they needed these three files. And from this, the fact that a package file says what I need, they can simply say npm install and now it would read my package, that JSON file, see that I, that my, I need JSON file and install it. And that now the directory is there again. And if I do, now we can see that oh, in that node modules directory is a directory for the package I installed. And the and behold, those are the files for that module and the JSON or the source for that particular module. We don't need to look at it, but it, we know that it was just JavaScript, right? And so that is the reason for a kind of package at JSON file. It allows you to be able to share your code and show the dependencies and other people can be able to install it if they don't have it. All right, I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'll cut it off right here. But you know the drill, try it. Let me know if you have questions or any problem, comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. 
spread the word, get out of the subscribe. Take care. See you in the next video.